lot of skill work being done. So when are you going to get better? Right? When you're playing in competition situations, you're only playing to your strengths. Why? Because you want to win. I mean, every day. I mean, since you know, for 20 years, it was an everyday process and trying to figure out strengths and weaknesses. For example, jumping ability. Now, my vertical was a 40. It wasn't a 46 or 40, 45. My hands are big, but they're not massive. Right? So you gotta figure out ways to strengthen them so your hands are strong enough to be able to palm a ball and do the things that you need to do. Uh, quickness, I was quick, but not insanely quick. I was fast, but not ridiculously fast. Right? So I had to rely on skill a lot more. I had to rely on angles a lot more. I had to study the game a lot more. And, uh, but I enjoyed it. You understand the business is it a business that you can help in some form or fashion what are the barriers of entry to that business and then the entrepreneurs themselves the company itself right? do they have a culture that you believe is sustainable are these leaders people that you believe in are they people that are obsessives and in turn have they created a culture of obsessiveness so I tend to look at those four factors and that's it extremely naive and with Phil and his genius, his responsibility was to get the team to a place to win titles. It wasn't a piece to appease one player. It wasn't to look out for this player. It was to get the collective whole to win a championship. So he would do whatever it took to make sure that that happened. Mm -hmm. He would see the friction between myself and Shaquille and say, okay, how can I use that? All right, I know Kobe has a passion to play, so come hell or high water. Doesn't matter what's going on in his personal life, doesn't matter what's happening here with the team, he's gonna show up and perform no matter what. Shaq is more emotional. If something's going on, he won't. So therefore, I gotta figure out how to create a wedge between myself and Kobe, because then that brings me closer to Shaquille. And then that helps me better manage Shaq. So that was his ability to manage the team, which was absolutely brilliant lives of your family are more important than the injury of your hamstring. And so when the game is more important than the injury itself, you don't feel that damn injury. Find me, it's not going to cripple me, it's not going to be responsible for me stepping away for the game that I love. I'm going to step away on my own terms. And that's when the decision was made that, you know what, I'm doing it. I started learning about storytelling, writing, how to structure a story, how to put together, how to thread together a narrative that has a bigger message, how to create compelling characters, how to take some of the emotions from my, from my own journey and instill them into characters that inspire or teach the next generation. Therefore, they can avoid some of the pitfalls and landmines that I had to go through. That's something I'm extremely passionate about, so I loved it. So it wasn't a matter of, man, I got to aside, I got to move on to something else. I was excited. I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to move on and do something else.